Welcome to DJM TV. My correct, correct people with Bitu now. Welcome now to DJMT. Yes, so my people, congratulations to all Nigerians. So after the semi-final match between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Bafana Bafana of uh, South Africa, hmm, I could not be smart to that match last night. <laughs> it make people get high blood pressure, not be small last night. Anyway, my people, right now, the Super Ego um, goalkeeper, where they call Stalin, one but they don't come outside, they don't come to talk. How if he, after they make a man of the match, yes, for that yesterday match, hmm, my people, not be small emotional moment. Too. The guy they talk, he just uh, begin to cry. So emotional video. Anyway, I will play on the video now, and watch when I listen to this. Then, Jack goalkeeper, Super Ego's goalkeeper, which is dark, who I'm not going to forget to like and share with the call. Uh, good evening and uh, welcome to our press conference for the man of the match and nobody the goalkeeper of Nigeria has been presented with the award. He's here. My name is Ahmed Hussein. Nabali, how do you feel about this team into the final and also being man of the match? Um, to me, Today, I don't, I don't really know how I'm feeling, but it has been good throughout this tournament. Um, I, really, I really appreciate the management and the coaches today. These guys have really guided me a lot throughout this tournament. But today, I feel so happy and I really appreciate my teammates today. So. Can we take up two questions? The gentleman here. Excuse me, use your phones not allowed for the audience, please. I start with congratulations on winning one of the match and setting penalties. I'd like to ask you, what is your reply to criticism that uh, most, especially certain journalists, have said that you've not been tested in this tournament and referred to the South African goalkeeper as the best goalkeeper of this tournament? What is your reply to criticism? Um, to me, uh, there is no room to talk about Christmas now because um, it happens in football when when football goes like this and your your fans really want more for you they must say this kind of thing so but I didn't see it as anything I just see it like a motivation to me to keep working and just show my my team and my country so okay the gentleman at the back and the that's the final question yes um Sandy, um congratulations on making the final um, I just would like you to take us back um, to the visit of Coach Jose and, and what it has meant for you and, and maybe also how the standard um, of where you've been competing in the PSL. Ronald was talking about you yesterday um, and the conversation that you've had with him before. Yeah. Um, to me, it's just like, um, it's just like when, when the coach informed me that he's coming to South Africa to visit me. It's just like a dream to me because coming down to my club to see me from one of the biggest um, coach coaching the national team like Nigeria. It seems like just a motivational like motivation to me. Like when he said he's coming to see me, I always said to myself like it's going to be any nice honor to me and just like that. Thank you so much, Nabali. We wish you all the best and uh, as you continue the celebration for Man of the Match and the TV. Next personal press conference is for the head coach of South Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I think some. Um, one of the toughest for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Um, a lot of us were expecting that it was going to be like this because um, the South African are a very decent side too. They have done pretty well in this tournament. And um, the Super Eagles of Nigeria have once again shown that um, they are one of the most experienced side and a unit that have been together for quite some time now. They proved that today because of the, you know, the support each of the player, you know, produce during the course of the game. What I, I want to say, Mwabali, we have not really, you know, faced 
a lot of attempts like we did today and uh, it res uh, you know responded very well just like um, one of our colleagues asked during the you know uh, the press conference earlier on uh, I mean a lot of people believe that he has not really been tested but he was tested today and responded very well so I'm impressed highly impressed by his performance today uh, well, for me, any one of them, we've played uh, one of the other two semi-finalists, the host uh, Cote d'Ivoire. We have not seen, uh, we have not played at all uh, Congo DR, but any one of them that, that might be coming up with Nigeria will be an interesting one because if it's, I mean, if it happens to be Cote d'Ivoire, it will be kind of a, a revenge. It's going to be a big game and uh, if it is uh, Congo DR, Congo DR, they will want to come out against Nigeria because Nigeria has probably produced results or performances that no one expected of them before this particular tournament. So it's going to be a big game in the, in, in, you know, in the final. Yes, so my people, I don't hear what you talk. <laughs> the guy was very emotional, not be small. And I don't say that the dragon since they never test, I never know that it will fit the liver. But this one we do last night, so he really try. Anyway, my people, on the update, we will carry confident like this. Bitty, so I will not see on a video. I make a drop on a comment, or I make not forget to like and share. And I do well. See you in our next video. <laughs>